Yeah. Now, if we have to move forward with the other part, what people is being concerned, I'm going to ask you specifically about Google, is where they should be looking at at this point where you are seeing that Google, and obviously you and I has been using Google all the time, has been disrupted by this large language model, which is basically artificial intelligence. What do you think will be the impact? Yeah, this is an excellent question, and it's a, it's, a, it's a trillion dollar question. Since the launch of ChatGDP, particularly GTP4 and now GTP4.5, uh, traditional search models like Google are facing real pressure for the first time in decades. So people want answers, not ads, and search behavior is evolving fast. So AI tools like ChatGTP are at the center of that shift or disruption, uh, if you want to if you want to be a little bit more uh, upfront. User increasingly turn to LLMs for direct conversational answers rather than sifting through links, which is the old method. This shift is especially noticeable in areas like coding, help, research summaries, quick explanations, where LLMs outperform traditional search in speed and user experience. Now, this isn't just a change in tools, it's a change of mindset. People are using AI more strategically to enhance how they work, learn, and make decisions. It's a clear signal the fourth industrial revolution is well underway. So what's happening with Google's market share? Another question you had. Google market share dipped below 90% for the first time in a decade. That's a major milestone. Users are actively looking at LLMs. AI is becoming the new default. ChatGDP is used as a primary research tool. It jumped from 1% to 8% in just six months. So why? Because people want the right answers. They're not looking for ads. The content Let is- Let me ask you something. So do you think that uh, now a, a more, uh, uh, let's say, a regular question for the audience. So you think that these, these, the, you know, increase of people using chat GPT is just going to keep going higher and higher and you see that the other things that we have in Google are basically uh, lowering the ability for people to relay in those type of things. Do you think that the future will be some sort of tools that do not represent advertising but actually the bottom line that most of these clients need? So you, do you see that people paying more for artificial intelligence tools like that? Or you think that it will be a free launch down the road because everybody might have some LLM, you know, tools to provide to the audience. What do you think is going to happen? I think this is clearly a disruption. User experience. I mean, Google is an amazing company. Let's let's not uh, say that Google is 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 losing market share. They're losing tiny market share. They're still a gorilla in in, in this game. However, user experience is really what counts. And that's how I think um, it's going to be uh, driven in the future. Alvida, thank you very much. We're going to bring you back to the uh, Tierra de Wall Street in a few weeks. Thank you, and we'll get back to you soon. You're thank welcome. you very much.